Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out Medusa Goes to the Grocery Store by developer Pillow Castle Games. This is from the Global Game Jam 2014 competition and it is a very funny and kind of just great idea to be perfectly honest with you, in my opinion anyway, uh, of Medusa going to a grocery store, picking up a list of items and trying not to turn everyone around her to stone. It's uh, just a great premise and I think it's sort of rife for comedy. So, uh, controls are very simply explained here. This is not a very long game, by the way. We're gonna be through this one in about five minutes, but still, it's a cool little experience, so I wanted to show it to you. Uh, we've got move on WASD, look around on mouse, and we're gonna hold space to begin. So let us begin. So here we are, we find ourselves in a fairly typical grocery store, and pressing spacebar, we'll have one of our little snake friends uh, bring down the note with all of the stuff we're supposed to pick up. So it says, Dear Medusa, don't forget everything on the list, and no turning people to stone. Love you, Mom. Oh, well, I've already done that wrong. So the premise is that we need to pick up all this stuff, not turn those people to stone by looking at them, and, uh, and just be careful about how we steer our cart around, because it's not always under our control to the best of my ability. Seems like a lot of times... Uh, they sort of screw themselves when it comes to turning to stone. Like, I try not to look at them, but I think sometimes they look at me and maybe catch me out of peripheral vision or something. Anyway, we've got quite a list of items here to pick up, uh, and it's going to be tough to remember all of these things at the same time. Mount Olympus soda, dragon sprouts, tomato skins, pickled ears, cheap beans, authentic Greek noodles, celery juice, apple, uh, pineapple, and frozen rats on a stick. So, let's uh, let's separate things out here by section. So, first of all, we're in the produce section. Uh, there's gonna be jars and cans over that's gonna have a bunch of things snacks And then of course the checkout is over on the other side. That's the, this is we're in the Perseus pantry by the way Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were gonna be there uh, I guess I'm not gonna try particularly hard to not <laughs> turn people to stone. It's just sort of inevitable right now uh, But this game has a certain really nice sense of charm about it as I wander around I'm sort of uh, hearkening back a little bit to like the style from Octodad a little bit and that you know, it's just sort of a nice, familiar, cartoony, silly thing. Um, right, so apples and pineapples. How many of each do I need? I need four pineapples and two apples. So there's our apples. One, two, and one, two, three, four. I think we can grab things from a pretty good distance, and I'm pretty sure there's not really a punishment if we grab more than what's on the list. It also does keep track as we go down the list, too, by marking them off. As you can see now, the two things we've picked up are totally uh, crossed off. So let's find some celery juice. I think that's actually, there's some right here. How much did we need of that? Four, two, three, four. It's uh, it's very good that we can pick things up from such a distance because the deal with this cart is, well, much like real carts in real supermarkets, uh, very difficult uh, to move around, I've found. And as much as you can turn left and right, like you don't really have good handling. So when you want to go in a specific spot, well, good luck with that. Also, these dudes uh, seem to be rather glitched out. They seem to be wandering into the wall aimlessly. They might just be trying to stay alive, which is, honestly, it's a great preservation strategy if they did come up with it, because look at their fallen compatriots. They did not have a chance. Uh, I've actually had this happen pretty much every time I start up this game, and I have played it for about 10 minutes. I've done two runs uh, just to see if things change a lot from one run to the next. And, you know, aside from the list, uh, not so much, really. But that's all right. Uh, so we're going to be looking for next some frozen rats on a stick on authentic Greek noodles. Oh, well, there's the authentic Greek noodles. We need how many? Four of those. Two, three, four. By the way, at the end we get a ranking. Uh, our mom actually gives us like a report card on how many people we turn to stone, I guess. So we want some cheap beans. Do we need any corks? Some used wine corks? No, I think we're good on those. Uh, pickled ears? Do we need any pickled ears? We do. We need four pickled ears. Two, three, four... And tomato skins. There's some over on the edge of this other shelf here. Oh my goodness, I'm glitching through everything. Really hard to steer. And there's some also some glitchy texture work and stuff, which, you know, not really a big deal. Game was made in a very short period of time, and to be honest with you, I kind of like the look of this uh, shop shopping market. It's uh, maybe a little bit more open than some of the ones I've ever been in, but I like it anyway. Also a little bit kind of downplayed in terms of visual motif. It's very uh, sort of dark, but that's not bad, actually. It kind of works. Uh, so we're gonna do tomato skins. We need four. One, two, three, four. It's kind of interesting too, seeing the the funny themes that they put on these items that we need to pick up. Like this is uh, Cerberus's dog food. So in case you keep, you know, a Cerberus dog, you might need some of that. Uh, Mount Olympus soda, dragon sprouts. What else do we need? Uh, frozen rats on a stick. Those are probably around here, right? 
Um, dragon sprouts, right? That's what we want. So we need three of those. Oh, did I grab? No, it said grab GP. Oh yeah, I'm actually targeting something through the shelf. Unfortunately, that is also a thing. There's some issues with collision on, on occasion. Uh, you can kind of just grab stuff through the shelves. In some cases, that actually may end up being to your benefit because maybe there's a person on the other side of the wall and you just don't want to interact with them at all. Uh, it's funny too how like incredibly mundane yet still hilarious this joke is in a way. It's like kind of a one note joke, but it's like still, it's it's funny enough that it keeps my interest. And I kind of wish that there was more to it. I wish they carried this on more and we could do like the Octodad for Medusa uh, treatment. What are we looking at here? This is Hades Fire. And that's more celery juice. Wasn't there a... Uh... Wait, frozen rats on a stick. How many? We need four of those. It's always four of everything. I guess we're stocking up for a good while. Uh, cheap beans and Mount Olympus soda. Cheap beans. I feel like I saw that already. Oh, uh, really having a hard time here. Walking around. Also be kind of funny if, like, you could knock all the stuff off the shelves and then people would get angry at you and then they'd come to go pick it up and they'd all get turned to stone. It's like, that could be part of your impetus not to... Uh, crash into stuff with the card is that you're going to end up putting yourself in more risk. Sort of like, you know, attracting attention to yourself in a stealth game or something like that. Uh, where are we getting cheap beans? I think that's the last thing on our list, actually. Cheap beans, cheap beans. Uh, they're there. Actually, right behind me. I wish there were more items and that maybe the store was even bigger, but, you know. Could be for another day. I think this is, like, a really good, really funny idea, and I just wanted to see more of it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, you know, like I said already, like, carry the joke on, have her go home, have her, you know, talk with her friends, trying to go to school or something, because it's supposed to be, like, teenage Medusa. This is a great touch, too. We turn all the fish to stone. Not sure if that counts against us in our rankings, but still kind of funny. I don't know how we're supposed to check out without having anyone look at us. Uh, maybe if they could, like, equip their reflective shields or something. I don't think they're going to do it, though. So, yeah, we're all done. Uh, we need to go through this checkout, though. I'm going to just look at the ground and see if that'll be good enough. We don't seem to have any of our items in the cart. There we go. Score of C. Sure are a lot of humans out there these days, huh, Medusa, says Mom. Yeah, I've gotten actually a little different quote on each one of these, so I guess there's a reason to try and do better. Uh, when you get an F, it's just like dot 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 dinner at five, like very disappointed in you. <laughs> Anyway, that's Medusa Goes to the Grocery Store. Unfortunately, that's uh, where our story ends. Uh, if the developers ever see this, please continue on with this idea. I think it's fantastic. I'd love to see more of it. Uh, you know, so the execution, uh, maybe a couple of rough edges, but what do you expect? It's a, you know, game jam game made quickly. That's just kind of how these things go. I don't harbor any uh, ill will towards the developers for that. To be honest with you, I think it's way more polished than I expected it to be. Uh, and it actually functions quite well, so props for that. Uh, so if you want to go download this, link's going to be in the description. You can go play it for yourself, see if you can get an A and not turn a single person into stone, or just go nuts and turn everyone to stone. That's your option, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, and of course, if you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a like. It does help me out quite a bit and lets me know that you're still supporting the series and still interested in seeing more episodes in the future. And of course, if you are interested in seeing more episodes in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot, and then you'll get all of the new episodes aggregated into your YouTube sub feed. Or at least that's the hope. Uh, YouTube can be a little iffy on that. Uh, but anyway, that's it for another day, guys. Check out the description for other stuff, including the link to the game, like I mentioned. Uh, I also have links to my websites and other personal stuff like my Twitter, so if you want to see what's going on outside of YouTube, that would be the quickest way to do that. Uh, but I will see you all again tomorrow, so make sure you come back again then if you'd like to see more. And I hope you have a fantastic night. Talk to you later.